Hey, what's up? This is Becky Murdoch, and this video is a tutorial to show you how to make a closed customer group on Facebook and also give you some tips and tricks on how to use this to rock out your 31 business. So I'm here on Facebook and I'm going to come up here to where it says create. You've got a lot of different options, but you're going to create a group. Now, 31 regulations say that you're going to create a closed group because you're sharing prices and stuff like that with your customers. Now, when it comes to naming your group, don't spend a whole lot of time trying to figure this out. You just want to make sure that you're following the rule not to have the name 31 or the numbers 3 or 1 in your group. So what I like to do is always include your name and then include kind of your favorite part about 31. So whether that's the organization, the personalization, whatever that is. So let's just say we'll call my name, my group, Becky's Bags. It doesn't have 31 in the title. It has my name in there. It's a great one. And then you're going to add some people. Now, before you start adding everybody, we want to make this to look like a really good storefront. So you're just going to add one person. So if I'm your sponsor, you can go ahead and, and add me. You can also add a spouse or a 31 bestie. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just add my sponsor, Laura Beeson. She gets invited to all these things. The privacy is going to be set to private. And then the group is going to be visible. Anyone can find the group. And then this little trick, pinning to the shortcuts, it's just going to make it really easy to find the group um, from your Facebook homepage. So you're going to create the group. And now you have all of these options to personalize it. So what I recommend before you, you know, announce that this group is available and invite people to join it is kind of getting look at like a really good storefront at first. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to upload a photo. Now, I recommend using the monthly customer specials. There's a few different places that you can get that. But if you're on our uh, Team Limitless core crew, I have an album of uh, banners that you can use. Let me show you. So I just uploaded the Facebook group banner, just a really generic independent consultant logo, and then I'm going to click Save. You also have the ability to um, add a description. And what I would recommend is just kind of keep this basic. Again, we don't have to overthink it. So you can just say the place to hang out for organization tricks, tips, and all things 31. What I will recommend that you put right here is your 31 website. So if you have it personalized, um, not including your ID number, like uh, your first and last name, then you can just put it here. If not, then check out the other video tutorial on how to do that. Um, so that way somebody can always get to your 31 website in the description, okay? Don't worry about adding a location or anything like that. Now here's what we want to do before we open it up to everybody. So we want to get um, some things that are going on in here. So YouTube, 31's YouTube channel is a really great place for that. You can also uh, reach out to your sponsor for some good ideas for um, pictures and graphics and kind of where to find those things. Uh, but you can also um, add some videos and write some posts right here. But let me show you kind of what it's going to look like when it's all done. All right, so here is my customer group. Um, you can see that I have the monthly special banner right here. So as soon as someone comes to the group, they can see that. And then as I'm scrolling through, I do want to give you kind of the best advice, which is to follow <clears throat> the 80-20 rule. 80-20 rule is that 80% of our posts should be relationship building and should be fun and interactive, a recipe on Pinterest, a funny meme. You can see I have this little um, thing right here. And then the other 20% is sales related. So asking people to host parties, booking monthly spe or monthly specials, those sorts of things. So if you think about it in terms of 10 posts, right? Eight of those posts are going to be fun. You can see there's my daughter right here. And then two of those posts are going to be, um, are going to be product related, like you can see right here. So you want to think of it as like a magazine. A magazine has different articles, quizzes, how to's, and they do have some ads, but it's not all sales all the time. Okay. Now, if you want to look a little bit further and kind of get some albums loaded up, if, again, if you're part of Team Limitless, you can reach out to your sponsor, you can reach out to me, and you can kind of get some um, albums going on. And I would recommend getting at least five different posts and then maybe an album of some pics before you start inviting people to your group. And you'll notice that I said inviting people to your group. You're going to invite them. You're not going to add them to your group. And here's how you are going to do that. So once you've gotten this looking great, you can post on your 
personal page, a link to your customer group. Now here's how you do that. You come right up here to where the URL is and you just double click it and you highlight it and then you can copy it. And you can go, I'm gonna go back to my personal page and then you can make the announcement. You know, I'm so excited. I'm officially a 31 consultant. So you can say something like, I'm so excited. I'm officially a bag lady with 31. So when it comes to our personal page, like right here that everyone can see, we're not allowed to use that part of our Facebook to sell or to ask for parties. We can share our excitement and then we want to direct them to the customer group. So that URL that I just highlighted, I'm just going to copy and paste right here. And then you can see when I hit post, people can uh, request to join the group. The other thing that you can do is you can use that same URL. So I'm going to highlight it and copy again, and you can send private messages out to people. So I'm going to send a message to Laura and I'm going to say, I'm so excited to announce I'm a 31 consultant. Here's my customer group. you would like to check it out and then I'm going to hit and again it's going to pop up that so then Laura or whoever you're adding or whoever you're inviting is going to have that link to be able to be part of your customer group so we want to invite people to join we don't want to add them without their permission okay so when in doubt you invite them you can post at places you can send out an email or a text message but we don't want to just click add to the group because that just never goes out really well okay and again you can use that url link and you can send that out a lot of places so there's how to create your customer group along with a couple of tips and tricks to get that group looking really great and following that 80 20 rule so that way you're focusing the group the customer group on relationship building Take care.